The United Nations estimates that there are 25 million refugees and 3 million asylum seekers worldwide. There are thought to be around 40 million internally displaced persons who have fled their home but still live in their country of origin. These numbers are growing. Involuntary migrants are likely to experience distress. This may be caused by the situation in their country of origin, having to abandon their home, the migration journey and the process of settling in a new environment or country. Stresses can lead to mental health problems such as depression, anxiety and post-traumatic stress disorder, known as PTSD. Although we know quite a lot about mental health promotion, prevention and treatment for mental health problems, these interventions may work differently for involuntary migrants than for the general population. A team of researchers from the University of York in the UK, the University of Verona in Italy and the University for Development in Chile wanted to find out what research has already been done on this topic. They gathered evidence from systematic reviews on what works for the promotion of mental health and prevention and treatment of common mental disorders among refugees, asylum seekers and internally displaced persons. The authors found 23 systematic reviews that focused on mental health promotion, prevention or treatment of mental health problems for refugees, asylum seekers and internally displaced persons. There were also 15 reviews for which there were no results yet, but a protocol had been published online. The 23 published systematic reviews included 336 references, 175 of which were unique research studies. The authors found that there was more evidence for some settings, population groups and mental health problems than others. Two reviews included only studies from higher income countries, but the other reviews included studies from any setting. Reviews more commonly included evidence on refugees and asylum seekers than internally displaced persons. In the search strategy or selection criteria of the reviews, internally displaced persons were often not mentioned. As for the age of study participants, reviews were more frequently focused on adults than children. In 10 reviews, study eligibility was restricted to adults. Just four reviews focused on children. 10 reviews included participants with a mix of diagnoses or without a diagnosis of a mental health problem and 10 others focused on PTSD or symptoms of trauma. Three reviews included participants with PTSD or depression. Although many reviews included studies of participants without a diagnosis of a mental health problem, they did not usually specify whether interventions were aimed at mental health promotion or prevention or treatment of mental health problems. Psychological therapies featured most in the included reviews. For example, cognitive behavioural therapy, narrative exposure therapy, and a range of different integrative and interpersonal therapies. This overview of systematic reviews shows us what evidence is available and what is missing. For example, the authors did not identify much evidence on treatments for internally displaced persons, children, or people with anxiety or depression. The mental health of involuntary migrants is a priority topic for the Cochrane Common Mental Disorders Group and the Cochrane Global Mental Health Satellite. No Cochrane reviews have been completed on this topic yet. We will use findings from this overview of systematic reviews to inform future research and prioritise research questions for Cochrane reviews on this topic.